naam en dan mag je het mag het Nederlands. Nou, ik ben Lisa en ik wil dat mijn haar in een wat vlotter en wat korter, want ik heb vreselijk dik haar aan de onderkant. En dat het lekker opruimt in de onderste zones. Okay. Lisa wants the hair to be a much shorter, a lot thinner. And it's the first time she models for me, so I ask her to turn. And uh, we make her a lovely short feminine hairstyle. Mag je een rondje draaien, schat? Zo, ja, dat is een rijtje. Heb je ook een ritme? Wat zeg je? Ja, ook een ritme. Ja. Dat is leuk. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hello, friends on YouTube. Kun je doen, Lisa's hair? Now it's the first time she models for me, so I'm very happy that she models for me. And uh, to show you also how beautiful the women are in the Netherlands, especially when they are aging. And <laughs> I think they're still wonderful and lovely. Give a nice keep and the protection of course. And you hear a sound on the background. It's uh, experimental because I find it hard to work without a rhythm. And I was looking for a rhythm and this rhythm is so nice playing. So I, this is a tryout. But I can, yeah, I can feel more energy when there is a rhythm. Start by wetting the hair. And in her case I'll also reduce the yellow tones in her hair. So first wet it a bit. I'm going to work with uh, different tools I think. Uh, the most important tool I'm going to work with is the hot eraser of Ergo. And on her hair I use a no yellow spray of attitude. Makes life for hairdressers very easy. But also it's very nice to work with and you can really work nicely with the hair because the condition of the hair becomes also better and it works in while you're working. The only thing you get uh, violet hands on it. Now watch it all her hair. It's a lot of hair. Thank God for that. Better than no hair at all. So I'm gonna focus in and start on the short side of an asymmetrical hairstyle. Lay the hair natural fall, take it up like the eyebrow lines. Take the hair to the front, work on the back side of the hairs. Give it a nice trim. Take all the weight of the upper hair from the front. Go into the flow. Now I want to leave a little bit hair on the ears. So that I'm working on. Thinning out with the tip of my knife. Nicely into the fold. Take some new hair to the front. Wetting in between. And take the hair to the front. First start just with the tip. Creating some air into the hairs. Because especially the sides are very thick. And when I get on the ear line, I go to the back. The hot ratio of ergo is 190 degrees Celsius and seals the hairs so the hairs will be closed for more than summer. Work again the hairs to the front, thin them out, still working in the eyebrow lines, parting every time in the same angle, using the skull bone as a guide.
reduce the weight on the ears. Watch it the fall. Take the hairs behind the ears. Every time lifting the hairs up to the front and go in the rounding. Get myself already a more playable effect. And I can see there's a lot of air into her hair. Working at the roundings of her skull, so I stay combing in the fall of the hairs, lay the fingers on the eye bone line and on the line of the skull bone. There's one line and work my way down. Gently, I don't have to force anything because a hot razor works that nicely and that soft on the hairs that the customer almost feels nothing of it. So you don't have to use force to get the hairs off. Just play with the hairs. Go over the skull bone. See the rounding coming. Again, parting the hairs, lay them to the front, hold my fingers in the skull bone line, lay the hairs in the rounding. So come into the rounding, get into the same rounding. Thinning out, just take the tip on the back side of the hair fall and just play with the end of the knife. Now she loves to have a short neckline, especially in summertime. She goes a lot with bicycles, so and it gives a nice free feeling when there is some air into your necklines. Go back to the top. Het piano spelletje daar. Jij? Ja, ik, ik, ik vind het wel intrigerend, maar ik probeer het te volgen of ik een uh, systeem in. Uh... Nee, er zit geen systeem in. Dat is ook de bedoeling dat het niet is. Nou, Want dan kun je het niet meer knippen. <laughs> als je er een systeem in zou maken. Maar dan kom ik rustig uit. Maar ik moet nog even kijken hoe het moet. Dat moet ik ze even opnemen. Ik heb het sinds gisteren erop zitten. Ja, ja. Hele mooie zachte geluidjes maken van de ding. Een soort digitale synthesizer. Ja, je kunt er op piano spelen. Het is heel wonderful de rounding star. Already you get more shape into the skull lines. Go from the center part of the skull to behind the ears. And part the front. Oh, yeah. Turn a bit more so you can see. Again, take the hairs over. Stay watching the wonderful lines of our skull. Lay some upper hair aside. Go in. Lay the fingers into the skull lines. Take some weight off. Het heeft ook een beetje een duikboot gevoel, dit. Een muzikale ja, duikboot. Ja. Zo'n onderzeeër die dan, uh, Zeg, waar iemand heel ja. vrolijk zit piano te spelen. Ja. In plaats van de piep, piep. Lay the upper hair also on it. Watch if it has the same line. Now I come at the, at the part where the hair 
goes traveling the other way around. So I have to take care of that also because it's behind the ears and normally by the shapes of her skull. Here we have some shape and the shape is always adapted to the hairs. So you always can see the shape back into the lines of the hairs. So I work till I get there, then I show you that. This part travels to there. <laughs> so this part travels to the outside. So I go in to the outside and then go back to the center line. So just adapt the lines and make the best of it. Using only my tip of the knife and shape the lines. Just like you should shape with uh, practicing with clay. It, it looks a bit the same. When you're sculpting something, this looks the same. And most did when they were young. But still, when you're a hairdresser, you also have to shape something. And you create. Adapting the thickness of the hair. Also this part is a little bit thick. So go in on the back of the hairs because this hair falls that way. So go in on the back. Free my upper hair, the hairs over the natural roundings again, go in, and connect it to the line of cutting. And there will be a new fern to see. The zin and the onzin from the from the frame. Zin and onzin. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Watch at the hairs. Watch at the folds. Gently adjusting the volume. upper hair. I just twist a bit to the shorter side to make a playable effect. Go in at the opposite lines and cr create a bit jumpy effect. Holding some length on the right side of her skull and make it shorter on the left side. This gives a lovely playable effect and gives more rounding to her hair. Go standing not beside her. And this I do standing, the rest I was sitting on my chair. But I have to watch also on the fall of the hairs. So this I do by standing. And then I can watch over the fall of the hairs. Coming on the part of her left side is the longer part of her hair. Part of the hair is in the line of the chin line. It's the opposite line of the eyebrow line. So it's the eyebrow line from the other side. Set the hair aside. Now I want to create an asymmetrical line. I go in. 
connect both lines to each other. And when you make it, especially in summertime, an asymmetrical line, you have to be aware that it feels very warm when the hair is a little bit longer on one side than the other side. So there you adjust by thinning, make sure there's a lot of hair and air into the hairs. So make sure there's enough hair to get that feeling, but also be sure there's a lot of air into the hairs to give that summer feeling. Every time adjusting all the natural lines. So now I take the chin line as a baseline. Behind the ears, I go into the running again. Take some hair of the upper hair on it. Part in the same line as the chin line. Start on the back, work my way to the front. Daar kan ik dus thuis ook, als ik hem opneem, kan ik er wel een uur van maken of uh, langer. Maar ik ja, ja. Dat is iets minder geluid, dat weet ik nu al. Ja, ja. Iets rustiger, iets meer dat ik een diep zeegevoel krijg. Ja, ja, dus zeg maar wat... Uh... Ja, meer bu bubbeltjes misschien. Ja. Dat moet toch eenvoudig... Uh... Is ook makkelijk te doen. Maar ik heb hem gisteren pas gekregen. Ja, ja. Ja. Ik heb nog niet kunnen experimenteren. Ja. Voordat is dan heb ik ook nog een heel grote sound system hier staan. Nee. Dus die kan ik dan ook gebruiken en die heeft veel mooiere boxen. Mm -hmm. Dus krijg je ook een zachter geluid, lijn van achteruit de ruimte hier komen. Nee, ja. Dan dempt die ook. Ja, dan kun je dan een beetje aan het geluid maken. Ja, kun je gewoon bijsleutelen, ja. vaste, zwaar maken ja. of licht op. Ik denk dat ik het vaak licht op maak, vind ik mooier. Stay working in the same line as the chin line. Set up the hair aside, take the hairs to the back, start in the back and go into the lights. And you have to create this the way, especially in summertime, that when she goes uh, bicycle or swimming and she wants to get this to the back, she can do this to the back. So it also falls nicely, when you, when you turn you can see this, the lines nicely fall behind the ears, no have no thick ends, no thickening on the back, and when you lay to, to the front, you have also a nice line. Again, co-standing, park myself a line from the center of the skull, take the hairs high up, start in the center by my connection from the other side and just cover the playable line over the lines I just cut. Take a bit away from the weight. Take the hairs high up, start in the back, watch over the lines of cutting. You can do this also by just watching at the roundings of the skull. So take the hairs to the back, watch at the skull lines that lay beneath it, and go in the same lines. Watch at the thickness. There were I think hairs a little bit too thick. 
and go in and create some air. Now take all the hair over to the other side. Go back to the ends again and to the runnings on the back. Watch at the fall and on the volume, wet hair on top. Now to create it the way that in summertime the hair will always look nice, go back to the other side, take the whole length over, go to the line of cutting on the sides, you take a little bit away of the length. So when you go swimming, the lines always look beautiful. Lay them back. Take my part on the center. Take it over to the short side, twist it a bit, give it a bit playable effect. This creates also a bit jumpy effect on top, so it looks younger. So now I can concentrate on the contour lines. Mostly the small hairs that lay in the underlines are a bit curly. I don't like that at all, so I take them off. But also when she wears the hair to the back, the side beards will be more beautiful and more younger. It looks nice, clean and stable of line. Get rid of all the small hairs that I don't need. And she also don't need. What have you, can you do with it? Nothing. Sit on the Yeah, sit on the This part is a little bit longer because she wants to have it a bit on the ears. So with my clipper, I just shape the hairs a bit. Then I'm certain that I have also all the small hairs gone. Just softly go in, just like you would, when you would like to create a bob line. You do it with a clipper. Bend it to the front. Also on this side, the contour line. Click a band from the biggest house, see that? Make use of the natural fold of a neckline. So now I created a wonderful new line on her hair. So now I can dry it. Now in her hair I don't need a lot of it, so I use a, a, a nice product of Glint, just to give it some moist. Using this amount. And beware there was also the silver spray in her hair. This product smells really nice, it's very nice to get with you in the summertime, because it's a small bottle. So when you go on holiday, it's not a lot you have to take with you. And when you empty it, you leave it behind. I bought myself uh, a wireless uh, hair dryer. It feels very heavy because it's, uh, I think, about uh, a kilogram. 
And the other thing is when you want to, it makes a lot of noise and it doesn't produce a lot of heat because I can hold my hand on the, the most heated position and still I don't feel the burning. So be aware of that if you want to buy this. It works for almost three hours and it gives also not a lot of air. So it, I think it's a wonderful tool to dry uh, curly hair with, but nothing else than that. And it works for three hours and charging an hour. But I think the noise it creates is a lot. And yeah, it's not warm. I can hold it on her and she doesn't even feel it. So be aware of that when you buy a thing like this, because I think for a hairdresser it's not a nice tool. You can go with it wherever you want, but you have to take an hour to dry short hair, so be aware of that. Take a medium brush of Ergo, start in the center, drying your hair. Drying it in the natural lines. Er zijn twee banken en de ene bank kun je de kussens uit. Ja. Dus die kiep ik dan op die andere bank. En dan heb ik gewoon een heerlijk bed. Het is, het is echt een... Uh... Ja. Ja? Je kunt hier echt alles doen. Ja, zeker. Dat is echt wel een fijne plek om te zijn. Ja. So far blow drying. Now I'm going to find me a nice uh, oil for her hair. The products I'm going to use uh, on her hair is uh, the golden oil of Lanza. I think it's uh, still the most wonderful product there is. It's nursing the hairs. It comes in the glass bottle. It smells really delicious. Mm. Very feminine. Also good for the skin. So when you have a leftover, you just put it on the skin. Mm. It's a shame that uh, YouTube doesn't come with uh, smell, but when you make a perm, it's wonderful that there's no smell. Thank Lisa for being my model. Thank you for watching. Give her the leftover of the oil. It's good for her skin. <laughs> and I have even over for her hands. Mmm, lekker soft, hè? Whatever product that is good for the hairs is also good for the skin. Thank you for being my model. Thank you for watching. Till next time. <laughs> Lisa! Jij ook bedankt. Ja? Ja. Maar even een rondje draaien. Dankjewel. Voordat je het mag in Nederland. Nou, ik ben Lisa en ik wil dat mijn haar in een wat vlotter en wat korter, want ik heb vreselijk dik haar aan de onderkant. En dat het lekker opruimt in de. Okay. Lisa wants the hair to be a much shorter, a lot thinner, and it's the first time she models for me, so I ask her to turn, and uh, we make her a lovely short, 
Feminine hairstyle. Mag je een rondje draaien, schat? Pak, dat zou je dat ze eruit is. Heb je ook een ritme? Wat zeg je? Je hebt ook een ritme. Ja. Dat is leuk. Thank you very much. You're welcome.